Okay, everybody. Matthew back with you. I'm going to do another video today, which is probably no, no, if I shouldn't do two in a row. You guys get bored with it. But uh, I did get a little more progress, and uh, I ran into something I want to show you here, and I'm going to take care of it. So um, I'll go ahead and show you what I've got started. I have the motor um, here, and it is done in um, AK. The AK that I use, the extreme extreme metal, and that is in um, white aluminum. Which uh, when I went back and looked at the original, the pictures, the originals, it looked like that was what the block and the heads and stuff were done out of was the white aluminum. So I've got that all done and done up. And that's why I done transmission the same way. It's done with the white aluminum. And I've just now got to start doing a little bit of detail here and there on it. So, uh, having trouble keeping on focus here and moving it too much. But that is the, uh, the motor. Go back here and see if we can get it. Had it in focus and lost it. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, if I already seen it, but blessed thing. Eh, there it is. There it is. I'm all done. So there's the white aluminum on the motor. So, uh, like I said, just now start doing some black details, uh, whatnot on it. Alright, so now we got that in focus. I'll move it. I uh, have the valve covers done in the same color as the um, the car will be, and they're in the gold gold color, and they're not uh, showing up real, real well. I guess it's just by too much shine or too much light reflection. Ooh, I had it. So there's one, and here's the other valve cover. That one showed up pretty good. Here's the other valve cover. And then the, um, <clears throat> sorry guys, my house just acted up. The valve pan, I went and done the valve pan, same color. Turned out pretty nice. And the air cleaner set up for it. I went and done that while I was at it. And this is a little bit of what I'm going to be showing you here in a minute. This little bit of uh, discoloration on the top. This piece I did not get primer. The other three pieces I showed you I did get primered. This one I didn't uh, have put together yet when I primered the other stuff. So this one's just painted right on with no primer. Um, that really didn't have anything to do with it. Um, here is the hood. Uh, the hood has been painted uh, and uh, it got primered on both sides, of course, and then sanded and painted. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, this was kind of nice because there was no injector pin marks underneath to take care of. I'm not sure how he, how he popped this with no, no injector pin marks. But you can see where the bracing is underneath this brace, and of course these angled braces show through on the top. There and there. And then I have a lot of uh, kind of discoloration here, which may go ahead and go away when uh, I go ahead and put the clear coat on it, because this does have like a pearl and stuff in it in the paint. But I wouldn't lose those stripes, so the stripes would stay. I don't like that. You know, that would sh certainly show through. And then here's the the car. And then you'll see on the side of the car, I mean, it's got tons of swirls. Let me raise this up a little bit. Tons of swirls and, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff going on back here. 
as far as that. And this was primer good and sanded. But the thing I noticed was when I got it done, every place I had a seam line, it came back through. Even after it was primered with his gold, it came back through. Uh, even down the fenders, I can't really say I've had it happen. Even the, the front fenders, I've never had it happen like that. Um, I mean, we all had it come back through some, but not every one. These, these, the front ones here again come back through. So what I'm going to do and uh, is just go ahead and take my, my regular sandpaper. And I'll sand these back off again, leaving this paint on there. I sand it back off again and just lightly sand this gold and leave it on there. And just prime this whole body again, Right, put the primer right on over top of this gold and the hood. I'll prime it again too as well. And then sand the primer and uh, then go ahead and, and uh, spray it again with with the same gold and see how that works out so that should be about all I have to show you for for today and you can see all the lines across from underneath where they had lines oh look that's big scratches there from where I took out the sink marks but nobody really see that up in there I may lock that or something or of course, it's a race car, but as long as it's gold, nobody's going to be able to notice it. You know, at an angle. Oops, get back here so you can see it. At an angle. That's where we're going here. There we go. Yes, yeah, so if you're looking in, you can't see it. That's got scratches there. So, uh. Alright, now I'm babbling. So, I'm going to call it quits for that, and, uh. We'll call it update number one. So thanks for watching and stay tuned and bye-bye.